Hello and welcome to my coding session where I'm writing a JavaFX appli a application for managing XML files which consist of a satellite channel's information. So basically if you are watching this for the first time just uh, watch my first episode and you will get what it is all about. So my previous session I did worked on following data structure. I did written a successful um, transponder builder class and I did test it out it thoroughly. I did got a result of the list of transponders which consist of uh, channels information. So the next step will be to create a set service builder class and this class what what actually this class doing so this is this class basically represents uh, an information about of all satellites and it consists it actually do, do not consist it 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 creates a set of set services and send it back to the to the set service model so set service model actually will consist only the following expression set service builder point build and it will get as a response back the set of set services and basically services consist of let me just show you my eclipse it will consist the following type of information it will consist uh, it will consist of a satellite and his corresponding transponder with the corresponding channel list and now what I need to do let me check first my models so I have here set service list so this is basically what, uh, how it looks like. My, my set service list is a class which have a name of the satellite, his position, and his DICIC, and the list of transponders. And I should, I should build it. And to the way I do it, the way of my approach, I create a test. This test is here. I need to create new JUnit test. This JUnit uh, test case have a name of. Let me just quickly do it like like this set now I need to write the name of my class so what I'm actually doing so set services builder I mean set services list builder and test at the end so that it can be executed by the maven later at the point. So I did create my test. Now I need to write my first failing test. Let me just reuse some stuff from my previous uh, previous code. Like here. So I need to set up a failing test. And testing if set now how I am calling the builder set service if set service builder object exist set service list builder how I should name it I, I need to have some convenient way to, to name it so set service list builder 
this probably will be appropriate name set service list builder all right so now i need to write here set service list builder object and i need my setup setup method okay so now i need to write it like this and now I need to declare this class and how I should do it. So I have here my set service list. I need to declare it set service list like this. And now I need to create new object. New I'm actually oh, I forgot I need actually write here set service list builder because I am I need to create a builder class let me just shortly format it so now I need to to copy this. So I have my I have written my failing test. Let me just run it. Yeah, I did create it. I did I did create a failing test. Now the next move will be pretty simple. I need to create this class in my builder packages u other class and I need to create a class now I need to take some time Recently, I overclocked my machine to the 4 uh, gigahertz, so basically I'm pretty pretty I need to be it must works pretty fast, but my hard drive is not as this is the hard drive. I'm pretty old with my hard drive, but I did sometime tested my I use sometime SSD device. It was pretty fast, but not so stable as I expected. Maybe I will do, I will change my hard drive someday. But this is just un, like an observation why Eclipse sometimes slow even on my fast machine. Uh, so now I can run my test and it should pass because I have created builder class. Yeah. So basically I have done this. Now what should I do test test next? Um let me think. In in order in order to do the stuff first of all I need a helper a helper class. And you see previously that I'm using such way like here for example read XML and create JDOM with one set. So basically can I reuse this class and so basically iterating over first level yes but now but now I have the situation now I need only now I need only one satellite now no 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 my builder 
uh, my set service list builder creates a set of the satellites it has many satellites objects mm, so in in order to handle the stuff I need to write a helper method which actually return I need to actually let me just let me just quickly think so set service list set service builder list it creates a, a list of satellite satellites with services for which of the satellites and uh, this not be I need actually to to write another method and call actually I need to here I'm here I'm getting only one element but in my case my set services list iterates over satellite list and create the set service and create a set it, it, it should uh, return a set of satellites hmm. let me just quickly write some stuff sometimes comments helps well what should I do read read jdom document I mean create create JDOM document create JDOM document iterate over JDOM document and now and then create create for each of satellite appropriate appropriate uh, representation representation as set as a result data type set okay so So basically, I need to I need to I can use it. I can use this read XML and create JDOM with one SAT. E, you will say, but stay say it. Some sort it makes some sort of a confusion. Mm, yeah. let me just think about it I'm no I'm thinking about to write here a method which what it does it just gives me back this list of elements and list of elements is a simple pretty stuff because it is the, the it is all information which I have here in this file from set from one set to another to the last one set um, but I can use it anyway so I need to create a public method no basically basically I, I will just write another throwaway class just for the sake and for the cleanliness of the code which I need to have yeah it's some some sort of re repeating stuff but better it will be like this and maybe it's not so efficient but 
I will make sure that I am doing only one stuff with my class. That my class not doing too many, too many, uh, too many things. So let me just write here: read XML and create JDOM document with all set. So basically. I will do the same stuff here. I will use the same parameters. Then I need to create getter on setter. Getter on setter. So you see, for me, it is important to have uh, very nice and clean naming conventions. I'm always feeling bad when I use wrong naming representations of the variables and the fields and methods. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of my personal quality uh, quality uh, issue. But anyway, I think this is the proper way to do the stuff. So what I need to do. Uh huh. Okay. So now, now I need to take this method. I need to find out this method. just to copy it so now I have written this method uh, what I should do next so here I'm just checking that I have successfully uh, read the document checking up setting up my JDOM document all right so now next move now I need to use it this method but basically instead of Here I need to rewrite my method. So I need to return a list of elements. List element. And I don't need this. And I just need to return. Because I now need to work with all of my satellites. And this should be enough and sufficient for the working with my... Yeah, I will close it. So, yeah. Yeah, I know it's repeating code, but as I said earlier, I, I like to use such throw throwaway classes. It's not a production code. So, it should be... Uh, sufficient for my test and it's pretty clean so I am reading JDOM document here and I'm checking that my document is not null and after that I return the result which is yeah read JDOM document and create third level first level element list 
and then the the name of this method is actually all right and I'm returning the list of elements which can which uh, which which actually consist of a things which uh, consist of uh, all elements of my services XML do I need to do some checking before I create my stuff let me just uh, look it up to my special file here so basically do I need to check a DICIC because basically I, I, I done stuff with this I check it this uh, inversion fake inner and polarization what is about DICIC? I basically think I need to check DICIC. So DICIC can be what all of possible values of the DICIC. So yeah, I have a range a default range for DICIC I mean the allowed range of DICIC is from 0 to 3 so I need to check DICIC before I do building of my of my object but this is actually only one thing which I should think about and let me just write the test first so let me just go to my test where I'm checking the transponder So here I'm just checking. Ah, okay. So now I remember. I remember I did written private uh, stuff. Set transponder builder. Is this a transponder builder test? I think it is. Uh, trans. No. I need to, to look up set transponder builder test. Set transponder builder test. Yeah, things like things like that, and in a way it go, it goes like this. So I need to check uh, checking um, if. So what I need to check? Let me just think of it. I need to check that my dice can can have only from one from one to three maximum is a free so let's just write this test where is my builder um, set service list did I Wait a second, where is my... Maybe I... Set service... Let me just... Package builders... Wait a second, where... Set... Transponder... Builders, transponders builder.
Wait a second, where I have my test? I mean, where, where is my package? Builders set service list builder. Huh? Eclipse having trouble to represent my stuff. Ah, uh, now. Sometimes I forget to update stuff. So here is my class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe I maybe I should should think my time better because yesterday I did work on on an enterprise project like f until 3 3 p.m. night time. Yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter right now. So what I actually need to write. So checking if my DICIC is valid because I need to services XML here and here is my DICIC DICIC is 2 ok so I I have range of values which are allowed to take place in the attribute DICIC 1 zero two so but i need to make sure that i am doing the right stuff and allowed values for dicex zero one two and three so checking if dicex valid now I will use the same type of let me just close it and I need to copy some stuff so I have boolean expression I like work you see I like work some people say you should uh, get hold of values from the method which you have in your class under test but I think I can be easily sure with my method so I am expecting to get true the actual result uh, need to be verified let me just copy all of the stuff now I just copy this stuff let me just do it like this and now so DICIC uh, basic I think DICIC has and set transponder set services uh, list byte it is a byte so and I am checking from 1 until 3 1 2 3 I mean 0 0 1 0 1 2 3 and now I need actually just iterate and check my result now here I copy this now I, I can re reuse my stuff and here I need to check if die sick of a let me just pause so what I do next checking if die sick of a service list of, of service has a right value because I each time when I run my builder builder iterates over services elements and it takes the DICIC of the appropriate satellite and check if, if, if it's valid or not and here I just need to write uh, a method which can hold the value. So let me just copy this line. Now I have set services list object. And here I need to write validate DICIC. 
validate TICIC. Did I wrote it right? Did I wrote it wrong? Let me just DICIC, DICIC, DICIC. Where I have my DICIC? Here is my DICIC. DICIC. I like to use proper names. DICIC. Now I just need to write here. Let me just copy this at the right point. At the right point, at the right stuff. So here is the name of the DICIC. Now I need to create this method which validate my DICIC. Let me just show you that I have written a failing test. It failed, and I need to create this DICIC stuff. So I have my DICIC here, and let me just it 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 will it will fail. Now, how I should what I need in order to be able to do do the stuff. So uh, where where I have my set services. No, set services list. The set services list, and here I basically need this stuff, and it goes to my builder. Yeah, like this. And here, let me just write his set in input set DICIC. I just need to differentiate it and here I need to write my setter on getter and this will give me actually pretty nice pretty nice stuff so now I just need to now I need to write the stuff which I have written earlier I need to write this validator. Let me just fuck in a. It's a, and, and it is actually the same, the same stuff. And let me just go get over it. So. Here is my, let me, yeah, I need to, to do the following here. So here I basically have my method validate TICIC. Here is the result, which I mean, here I will save my result of my evaluation. And now I just need to do following. And the default value, default, default value will be in this case zero. And we know from our, from our document, that zero is a, uh, one of the values which can DICIC can content, can can get hold of. So basically, and I see that I deleted. So now I have proper representation and I just copy the code which I have written previously. Why to write new code when you have done such work anyhow? This is by the way, so I have input fake inner. Mm, let me just refactor this code like input DICIC and I need to pass my value here 
and I need to write this method. Set up valid values for diseq. And now I need to write this method here, which it, which is for um, which have almost the same signature. Set up valid values for what I have here for DICIC. Now I need to refactor some things here. Refactor in name input dice dicek. And now I have uh, of course another set set oops let me just write it first Okay, I need to look up what what I have done wrongly. Um, ah, just I know. I will just write here the following. So just need to write here set diceq set valid diceq now it's cool and here I need to to call actually my set a set input diceq here input refactor So I need to use write notation. Now I have my cases where I have zero, one, two, three, and that's it. Okay, so it's it's quite sufficient. It's obvious what I need to check because I the allowed values uh, default value yeah, default value and default value is zero. Yeah. So default value is zero zero one two three. Yeah. This is exactly what I need. Zero one two three. And let me just go back to my test. Sometimes Eclipse do not understand the stuff which I write. Let me just delete all of these warnings. Now, now let's run this test and look up. Did I got it or not? Yeah, it passed. So now. I need to write a failing test for for my DASIC and it goes uh, almost have let me just yeah I just need to copy like this
so probably if it it should it should fail if I use value like I don't know six and now I have written my failing I mean I I'm checking here once again what is actually a third false check uh, third false let me just go to the documentation I like I like to use the documentation and you should use too because you cannot know anything and you shouldn't know anything I mean you should know you should know the stuff about data consistency it's, 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 if somebody thinking that people will learn the whole API can can remember the whole API they are actually wrong or they are stupid um, because yeah things like that assert false so actually assert false assert that supplied condition is not true this is what I'm actually trying to achieve so if I did written my test well it should fail in this case yeah and it did but when I run all of my tests it passed so once again I have proven that my code works now in order to be able to create to create the, pro, uh, the object so now when I know that my that my desic has has been checked of, of validity now I can now I can write a test for creating my my set of 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 services and now I just need to to do a, a test void check if service says set is not now and here I need to let me let me shortly pause well okay so now proceeding to to the main part of the story so here I need to write a test which verifies that my final final result is, is not now so let me quickly look up my test and here I need to look up can be built here so basically I need I expect I let me just yeah I can move it so I expect him to get a true and read XML and create JDOM one sat now I need to call my helper class which is which has following name and I just need to let me just close it read and I need first to call setup I need to add I need to add it to my list so let me just use it like this I hope no so 
I need to write it to full content. I have a helper helper object and this helper object instantiation has the contents of of this class. Uh, sorry, I forgot. I for first I need to use the class with XML and create with all set. Um, helper object all sets new now I have created it now I can import it so now I can call my setter sorry yeah, it should. I should. I should not work at late night. It's a bit. It's a bad habit. Uh, what I need to do? I need to call my set set up. Alright, so yeah, it goes almost. It has almost the same. It has almost the same infrastructure. Let me just put it like here. And let me copy my assert. Which I need to use at the end. I'm checking. It is a service. Uh, set service. Set service list can be created is it actually not a list it is a set is a set set services set can be created okay now I need uh, I need to create let's just look me uh, I need to look up some stuff set model I need to look it up set services model and here I need to look up what I need to look up uh, let me just I need to later I need just to write a test for set service model I postpone it <laughs> and what I need to do oh my gosh uh, so I need to I just need to have the proper I need to get proper declaration now I get now I get it sorted set let me just copy this line and here I, need, here I need to declare it but I have a sorted set of 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 uh, I'm using set service uh, list set services list is a representation for one satellite 
that name the position yeah and I have many such sets I have many lists in the sets so it should like look like this and it should like this and here I need to write sorted satellite information set sorted satellites services sets I mean this is a set set of sorted satellite services yeah now I need to do like this import needed classes I uh, actually very good okay uh, next step so I just need to write my failing test mm. Now here you see, here I need actually a, a list of elements, elements, trade-off elements, which is which is. Uh, um, list list of satellites uh, let me just write it like here new list so it should it should work like this jdome util list now, now I have proper stuff, and now, what should I do next? I need to initialize this variable just by calling. my getter get do I need to get a get sad trade on document no 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 read trade of document create I'm actually yeah I need to use it so here I'm getting all of satellites Yeah, Eclipse have a problem with my code. The value of the local value is not, but I'm using here, man. Alright, so. Yeah, Eclipse, sometimes Eclipse can be not so helpful. But it doesn't matter currently. It will work. So, next stop. Next stop. Next stop. I have my list of satellites. And next stop, let me just copy this code because I can re reuse it in my test. So 
so what I need to write first I need to list of transponders but in my case set of sorted satellite services and in, in order in order to get this result in order to be able to get the contents of these services I need to do following oh I say I'm at one hour <laughs> I'm a little bit slow today but you cannot always be fast but anyway I think I should do following so my set transponder build object set satellite ah ok so now I need to call my builder object which is set service list builder object provide uh, create a method build now it's very important what I'm building actually build services set set which which short for satellite build set services set and now I just need to pass my list of satellites element list and like do like this and after getting this result I need to check it I need to check it if my set is not now let me just quickly write here some method I mean it's I later I will refactor my code 100% of my tests because I don't like it when it's too crowded so here I need to take my object and call some method on it and let me just do things like this is empty so what I get here returns true if the set contains no elements and I'm actually expect to get false and if this is false my actual result automatically should be automatically be true and that's it for the failing test yeah did, did fail it's all right that was basically okay because because I should I should create a method build set services set and now I need to go and use help of the Eclipse create the method here I have this method now the story continues so I need to look up I need to look up set TV in a set transporter builder and I need to look up here here's yeah here's the stuff which I am using So basically, I will write it uh, once again separately from all of the stuff. And, and I need to do following where is my for each did I wrote here for each 
Ah, basically it's it's it is a transponder. Haha. <laughs> okay. Yoohoo! So yeah, I will make my life not so easy, but what actually I need? I'm getting the lists of the elements. I'm thinking about okay yeah 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 sometimes it's it's not so easy but what I should let just write some comments maybe then I will get my path back and I I getting uh, the full sets list and I need to go and iterate over this list iterate over iterate over elements list now when I'm iterating over elements list, what is a specialty? I'm getting, first of all, I, let me just look at the set services list here. I'm getting the name, set position, DICIC. This is unique values. This is unique values per satellite. Let me just do it. Let me just. So this values I need to. This value I need to evaluate. 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 And basically, basically, I'm getting these values. I'm iterating over my list of satellites and getting values. I need to get values first and validate the values after i got my values i need to assign them after i got the values evaluated the values and i need to assign them to the proper data structures i will um, probably i need to create i need to create new transponder do I need to create new transponder? Let me just look it up at my builder. Because actually I'm calling I need to call my Z transponder builder. Transponder. Where is the constructor? Ah here, here, here. Okay, so now I uh, now I understand. So I need to obche obtain childrens of each of the satellites. Well, that is an interesting stuff.
This is pretty interesting stuff. Ah, here, here, ah, okay. So build transponder set list. This method expects to get hold of. Wow, 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 wow. So this is basically what I need to provide. But I have many, I have many transponder elements. I have many transponder elements in my um, in my list. So yeah, this can be done easily. Now I need to iterate, iterate over transponder lms list so i have one outer loop one outer for loop one inner for loop one loop iterates over satellites and another loop iterates over Transponder elements, elements, if, and that's it. And that's it. Okay, so full set list iterate over elements. Okay, so let's do the simple stuff first. I don't need private, I don't need here integer. Yeah, here I need to work out with my DICIC. And let's just let's just go to okay so now I'm iterating of the oh I'm iterating over the over over the list of satellites now where is my iterator let me just oh, iterate over collection I think it is for, for each I like for each even better so list of satellites element and basically I'm having here sat let me just write here set light element element now in this I need to I'm getting values and setting up the values and then assigning to the new service set so I need just to create to uh, let me just quickly write here first get the values from JDOM document now the second step will be assign assign values uh, validate validate and assign values after doing that I need to get hold of get hold of transponder LMs and after that uh, create service 
list set service list and after that after I did create set service list add So basically, just need to write here. Uh, so that said, yeah, it's sometimes things like that happens. Mm. And here I have sets of the service list new. What should I use as it's almost like the same in where is my test? Is it not good? And can be built. almost forgotten what I did to what I have to write so I need to have proper new new set service list okay so let's just do it one bo st one step after another and I need to look up need to look up the way how I getting the children maybe wait, wait a second uh, so I have my prototype plus element yeah I will re I will reuse this code So basically, it's you say it's pretty easy, but mm, I need uh, to make sure that I have a right order of stuff. So get value from the JDOM document. Now for the set name, for the set name. let me assign some value satellite satellite element get attribute did I, did I basically get attribute value string and this should be the name of the satellite let me just do it right let me just quickly go to the services and the name is a name and now I need to get the value for the set position and of course set position is an integer integer parse integer string parse integer parse integer parse integer yeah now here I need to mention position need to close it down here like this with DASIC it is uh, uh, I need to validate my DASIC so here I need just to call my method let me 
then I can delete it. So about DICIC. I need to get hold of a value for DICIC. Now what I need, what should I do? I um, need to parse it byte parse uh, parse byte string. And here I just need to get hold of DICIC. And after I done validation of my DASIC, I need to assign the appropriate value. This and now I just need to call get input set set DASIC. Okay. Basically, it all happens for one satellite. Now I need to be able to get hold of. I need to be get. Uh, I need to be good. <laughs> okay, so now I need to get the hold of. Um, to be able to build. Because my uh, my set service list. It expects to get hold of a list of set transponders, but list of set transponders need to be created. So I need to create a list of set transponders first. So let's just do this list. Now I need to create my list set transponder. list and here just write the list of transponders for one satellite one set and here just write new linked list of set transponder and now I just need to Yeah, and now I just need to do things like that, and I hope it still it will work pretty fine for me. Now, how how I should obtain it? First of all. Because I'm getting uh, lists of elements, I need to build it. So I need to, I have to create a builder object for building my set transponder. Builder object expects set transponder build builder. And as you see it it works actually pretty easily because I getting only one satellite to the appropriate method. I just need to build this object. Where is my here? New set transponder builder and it has a method.
so I am using each time new new transponder builder object build transponder set list from the given satellite element and what I'm actually getting I'm getting the list of transponder objects transponders objects for one set pretty obvious yeah now this is done and create set service list now now I need to build actually my now I can actually build my new now I can actually build my set service input name aha I see I need to write another test to test my set service list sorry so basically I forgot to to pass the list of set transponder to my set service list okay so how I should how I should work it it out uh, in order to be able to pass this test let me just think of, of it so I'm not done with my builder let me just quickly write my builder Here, here I need to create new service list new service list and this service list expects from me input set name input set position DASIC and here I just need to to do it like here this is what actually my thing expects so set name set position no input ah uh, input position set position input set dicic maybe maybe a list of transponders but list of transponders is not mentioned here let me just think of it I need, I need to initialize it and I can is initialize it with the use of set service list set service list yeah and it it might as should pass I don't need to provide it to the constructor the list of transponders maybe let me just think of it so when I constructing my set service list I don't use in my constructor the list of transponders hmm. but I can actually set 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 up and just for the for the sake of it now I need to write a test I need to write a test for my set service list I have my set service list here 
and I need to write a test set service list test set service list test so oh so you see I have actually a dummy transponder nice this is what I'm liking about my this I'm actually doing pretty well and how I should test it how I should test it I can use my dummy transponder Basically, basically, what I actually need to do, I need to to, to write a test where I passing some values. Mm, let's just quickly think of it. Let me just uh, set service. Let me just quickly think of it. This is not done. This is set service list. Ah, this is my test. Okay, I need to write here. I need to write here something like test me, test me. And I need to don't don't close it. So, yeah. So basically, I got a problem with my set services list. My set services list wasn't. Uh, I didn't. I, did, I forgot to write a test for testing the constructor. It was much some sort of a in the hurry. But I need to write here a test like I don't know. Test void test. So I need to I need to make sure that I have name Dysic and what ha what have I, what have I got? Where's my builder? So name, position, Dysic and list. Ah, okay. Name. Let me just copy this uh, signature. And here I just need to do following stuff. And add and just un uncomment. So test that service list is 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 uh, fields are properly initialize it this is what I'm actually trying to do and how I should do it how I should do it I'm actually transponder fields list transponder and TV channels transponder in a dummy transponder okay so now now I can do following now I can do following the set services object here I'm using 
this constructor uh, and it's okay I think I just need to have two, two constructors one constructor for set name position sedasic without set trans without transponder list and another case where I have all of the stuff set set up so here I just need to create um, let me just write here private set services list set pool services object here and here I creating I need to use following string string sat name I don't know Astra let me j just use some real values Astra and here sat position I think it is integer integer sat let me just copy just for the sake of it sat position is I don't know z zero sat position okay so this is interesting I hope sat position is integer position is integer okay and now I need to list of transponders for one set and where I have list transponders in TV channel so I need to use set list. I need to now I need to pass I need to pass in my constructor. Well where is my let me just do it like following new and then this will be additional value new and now here I need to pass all 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 of my other values and that for just forgot to work with the die sick set die sick I don't know let me just think of it zero yeah it should be valid yeah and then you see sometimes you need to go like this you what what have set service object let me just check if DASIC not now yeah I know I know it's not now so set a list of transponders no I don't need this I need 
uh, what I'm actually looking uh, transponder fuel set list set transponder uh, where I'm in initializing my list set services object ah in dummy transport okay so i just need to copy that and go here and now it should be complete it complains about my class and i need to create another constructor and here in this case mm, so my expected result boolean expected result is is a uh, true mm, but it can happen that I got a false result now to be to making sure that i can actually check my object here i need to use it like this let me just think of it what i can so what I'm looking for, I'm looking for a way to test it if if my values are set it, set it up set up. And the best way to do this, first I need to write my constructor. I need to write my constructor boolean to to okay. Yeah, it takes some time, some time to build such stuff. It's complicated, yeah. And now here set services list. I need actually to copy this list. I'm adding here. Not not the right yeah. And here I need to add my constructor input And this should work. So basically, why, 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 where is the problem? Duplicate method? No. Now it should it should work. Now it should he should see that I am using different kind of constructor methods. Uh, so comma separation. I forgot to now it should work so now I have proper constructor for this case and now it should this test should work and I'm basically what should I do I need to to make sure that I am getting that I'm getting the right values because my assert Assert will be like this 
maybe is to use uh, just assert not null assert not null and this is object assert I think assert not null is included in the G info let me just uh, assert that actual is not null so I know that my object is created and basically it will be it will be better to get some values uh, of my object which I create so uh, that I know I need to make sure that my stuff is okay so let me do, do just following Z oh, set full service object and get set name and I'd like to, to have many if con if conditions. Let me just just deal with a way let that that my object is not null. That would be sufficient in my case. Assert not null and let me just work it through. And let me just run this test. And I don't need these values. Yeah, it pass. Do I have passing all of my tests? Yeah. 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 Now. Now I'm back to my original test case. So. Now I can pass my list of transponders to the service set service list. But this is not enough. I actually need to add to my set. And I'm actually doing like this. Add. And then I need just to use the following. Oh, sorry. And now it should be sufficient. Let me just refactor it. And I don't like that it takes so much line. Basically, I have this situation here. Now I first I getting the attributes of the satellite name position then I validate another attribute DICIC then I get hold of a list of transponders for one set and then I'm getting my created object my set service that I'm creating set services list with all of needed attributes and And that's it. I just need to to give it back. I need to give it back. Return. Let me just think what I yeah, I need to return this list back. And that's it. let me just delete the eclipse false messages now uh, do I, am i satisfied with the result not sure let's uh, run my test test me sure i will test you so this is what i'm actually testing i'm check 
if service sets not null and create it can be created and service list can be built yeah now what I need to do I need to output I need to set so set of sort I cannot speak anymore right um, so basically I need to output the contents of this uh, let me just write here now I am outputting the set and let me just run my test let me just run it and I will refactor my code So I'm getting some sort of passing of my J unit, but I actually not satisfied. So I am. I need to go to my to my set. I need to go to my set services list class. And here look up for to string method. Okay, so set service says list sat name and I got my sat name. Now I need to write here position and it should be like let me just do it following and I need to get my sat position plus now I need to get the dicic dicic and now I need just to write here set dicic and here I need to have my new line and I write here list of transponders and here I just need to get the hold of my transponder uh, list of transponders to string And this is probably will be next next line. And after doing this, I have to make sure that I the next stuff happens here. And I have such line. Next line, and let's just run my test. Okay, wow, 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 wow. So I'm getting through. And you can clearly see that I'm getting more than I getting all 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 of my stuff which I have read from the from my uh, XML file. Yes, yeah, so let's just check it. Let's just check it, and I will check it before I do next stuff. I will check it some some parts of of the recording. I don't wish you to bore you, but 
for some of sort um, for some sort of uh, proof that I got all stuff right so Astra 90, 90 East let's just look it up okay position 0 1 2 9 DICIC 0 yep set transponder ID here 041 e here I have it so what it has uh, transporter on it 0001 transporter frequency yeah right inversion okay so it looks it looks correct wow it looks correct okay so I, j I don't want to bore you with this stuff anymore let us conclude following so b before I do next move let me just close okay let me just refactor my code I need to refactor my code and I need to take it take this builder method and put it I don't know like here I basically need to put set up I think I will do it like here yeah. and let's run the test and validate that I am getting that I did not broke anything yeah it works like this but it looks good So let me just refactor my code further and now I have here this, this assignment so now let me just refactor this refactor extract method cannot it but can I actually Let's just try out. Okay, so, but I think I'm I can actually can extract this refactor extract method. Yeah, and I write here create new set service list oh Cre I did create now it looks better but I don't like it uh, get attribute value let me just Let me just mm, get hold of a for loop. Now I will call it like I don't know. Um, what I'm actually building, 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 building uh, a set 
set building list of set services So I can basically delete all of the stuff because I don't need it and can delete it, this stuff okay and now I need to initialize here some values here some values you will probably say yeah but you didn't didn't done so much things so much things and I can write here the factor extract method I need to write here things like wait, wait a second I can actually the factor extract method validate validate and set up dicic dicic yeah always extract method if 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 it's possible now it's i'm not sure that ca it can be done bad in any how better and we should run our tests so but here for example I can actually refactor extract method okay create new builder for building transponder set transponder list set transponder list and this is actually works <laughs> okay so set the integer parse in set alive okay so I don't wish to have any more stuff which pollute my my code code base here Let's just run test and see for the result. And you will see once again the power of TDD. Works pretty well. So this is basically that's it for my uh, services. I will definitely uh, recheck my code. I mean, need to check on and look up uh, my mapping of XML but i think it should probably go pretty good pretty pretty good now i need to just uncomment this and let let me just save it and run all of my tests here works wow okay and now here he doesn't like uh, do I need it set service list builder uh, so now I'm at the point where I need to call I need to call my set service list builder it looks pretty great pretty great I'm actually doing nicely and it is allowed me to do such so much stuff now let me just run my test yeah it's passing uh, 
here at the set service model. I just need to do I need to close it down? Now, the next move will be, I did, so all of the three steps are complete, I have my builder class which builds me a TV channel list, I have my build, builder class which builds me transponder list, and I have builder class which builds me a set service set. Now what? Uh, now I need to call in the set service model the set service builder is built and that's it my set service model is complete and how I should do it so I need my set service model test there it is yeah I have got the document now I need to write a method which uh, let me just write here void check if now I need to check that my set set services set is not null. And I expect boolean expected result is true. Actual result can can be false. Pretty obvious. Now what how I should proceed? And uh, well I am actually need to think about so I need to I need to to do following I need to call my set services object and what I said earlier I need to be able to use thing like build and it should be set service builder build but this actually happens in in the build actual result and I am expecting to get a boolean back of the build process. I'm I do not provide any do I have to provide any documents elements to my build to my builder I don't think it I don't think it but I think should I should look it up so aha build set service set okay so uh, I just need to create this build method and I just need to write uh, to have a failing test and this is ba basically let me just check it okay so now it's pretty pretty simple stuff 
which I have to do. The most of the code is done. Checking, checking if, checking, checking uh, set set services, checking set services. Checking set services, set checking that services set services set is not null, or I can write just create created. Uh, yeah, ah, not null is better. I think it's not null is better. So here. Set services build. It builds a set of services. Pretty obvious. But let me just rethink it. I'm actually thinking about to call it not build, but rather build a set of set services. it is better now I have it and what I need to do in order to be able to do that I need to get my set on getter um, I need to have I need to have to I need to, de to declare here a private variable which is a list of and then I need to to do following I have my set services list set services list and this is actually not a list but rather a set set Do I need to, to do some import job? Let me just quickly look it up. Sorted set. Ah, okay. Sorted set. Um, set of satellite services and I will write here set services and I need of course my get on setter source get on setter The proper way now it's pretty simple stuff which I need to do now I need to do following I need to create element root uh, get the handle of the root after that I need to now I have a list of elements which are a representation of sets of of the set. And you know I'm getting this information because I'm reading the appropriate services document from the input path which I provide from my test. So my test provides the path to to file. Okay. Now how I should do it? Checking the set services is not now. I'm working with the builds of set services. 
so and now I just need to call my builder and how I actually doing this I need to call my builder uh, yeah I just need to declare it right builder of set services list and now just need to get new it has no now I just need to import it and now I need to set up this set up my variable set of satellite services and I will get the result from now here I have my method build set services set and now I provide the list of elements and it should work Oh, wrong, 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 sorry. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Yeah, now it works. This is actually what I'm doing. And... And I might need to do this only... And only when... Uh, I got... Some elements from JDOM is empty now it is empty when it's empty I got a true I expect to get false and now I can actually have some values and I'm return in other case I return false but in this case, I return true. So I know, I know definitely that I can, that I created my. Let me just do it like this, basically. Yeah. So once again, what I'm doing here: build a set of set services, pretty pretty clear what my method doing and getting hold of a uh, element uh, jdom element which is a list actually list of elements I'm building a set of satellite services and after that I'm checking I'm actually building uh, only then when my elements list is not empty and that's it let's let's just try it out and let me just let me just show you that I'm getting actually a result so I need to write here I need to get my result get set of satellite services and just call it to string I think it is implemented hope it, ho I hope it is implemented yeah and that's it I just run my test and see how it goes Okay, what did wrong?
get sub trade down where I must get sub trade down to the root. Ah, I need to call read and set up JDOM document. Sure, sure, sure thing. So before I can, yeah, yeah, no, where, where is where is my problem? My test did not call this method. Ha <laughs> ha. So basically. I need to call I need to call here set yeah it was my mistake sorry and now I need to call it I'm to catch I will put it all in this try now it should it should work because I did not set up my object. Now it should work. I have my failing test and now I know where is the problem uh, um, so basically all of the stuff I don't need it in this method my method only need a list of elements I need to provide I need to provide my list of elements and this should be called like this now I need to change my test pretty simple stuff um, well let's just looking uh, look up And I, I will use then my helper, uh, helper object, which gives me full set of the satellites. And here I have my helper object, written XML. It's all sat. And I just call it. Give it a name. All. Sat and just initialize it uh, with uh, I just need to initialize it in try Okay, so here is uh, this element all sat, and I need to call the method. I don't, I don't, I don't not recollect it. Read, create. Ah, so I need to first of all, I need to set it up. Read and set up JDOM document. And then I can only only can I can get hold of my list of elements. Read JDOM document. I think this is appropriate one. So with the help of my mockup object, it should work. Yeah, you, you, it works. It works. Works.
Yeah, I think I should conclude the session with saying following. I need still uh, look up my code, refactor my code, and this is happens uh, basically of, of camera because does not need to be recorded. And I see him almost two, two hour over the, over the time, but anyway, I did successfully manage to to send my data here for example basically it need to be refactored yeah I can let me just write following result false boolean And then I don't need this else, I just need to return result. If if fails then default value will be used. And it's look even better. Oops. Let me just Yeah got some length all of this so and now I can save it and it can can stay so let me just run all of my tests yeah it, it works so basically I need to check it before I will upload to the s to the s no to the to the git but the, but that's it my 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 uh, my set services model is complete and i just need to write my buckets buckets and that's it after that i i will start working with the add bucket edit bucket and that it eh, and that's and so on but project moving pretty fast but but thank you for your time i concluding this coding session with the following uh, working with xml is not fun it can be heavy and demanding and challenging but if you write your test uh, you probably won't make a mistake you and be able to extend your code and write additional tests to pass the test and that's it thank you for the watching and till the next